Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that I'm saying that and I can't believe that I've actually managed to make a second video. Um, I'm very impressed with myself for following through, following through. So today we're gonna talk about what to wear during a triathlon. The other week I posted on my Instagram story a question box and it was ask me anything and the number of questions I got just asking what to wear during a triathlon or can I wear a swimsuit? Can I wear a cycling kit during a triathlon? It was a lot. And honestly, for a good reason, because nobody like tells you these things. Like when I first started doing triathlons, I didn't really know anyone in the sport. And so like I was pretty lost and had to do a lot of research. So I'm here for you, okay? We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. So first off, you can wear whatever you want for the most part. There are some rules in Ironman like you can't wear your kit unzipped past the little connection point and stuff like that. But like, I think that's just Iron Man. I don't really think for like local triathlons, they're as strict about stuff. Um, people were asking, can I wear a bathing suit during a triathlon? Yeah, I think you could wear a one piece bathing suit. Um, I don't know how comfortable it would be. I think if it were just a sprint triathlon, 12 miles on the bike, you're not gonna get like super uncomfortable in that. So that is an option. Uh, another option would be you could invest in just like some triathlon shorts and then like a sports bra for the swim and then like just throw on a t-shirt for the bike and the run. So like that's, that's another option. I would not, not recommend wearing a cycling kit for the love of God uh, during a triathlon. Just don't do it. I've never done it. I don't know. I don't think I know anyone who has, but like the, th like I'm assuming you've worn a, a cycling kit if you're asking about it. The chamois? And that cycling shorts are so, it's so big. And that would, that shit's gonna absorb water like crazy. And you're gonna get on that bike and you're gonna feel like you've got a wet diaper on. And then on the run, oh, that chafing, girl, mm-mm, mm-mm. So again, it's up to you. I'm not telling you what not to do. And I totally get not wanting to invest in like a whole new wardrobe or like a cycling, or excuse me, a triathlon kit if you don't even know if you like the sport yet. Okay, I get it. But again, I think that there are some alternatives like investing in some, just a pair of triathlon shorts. You can get some cheap, you know, off Amazon or whatever before you fully commit to this sport. Okay, so now I'm just gonna talk about what is a standard triathlon outfit, how to wear it, what to wear, what to do. We're gonna talk about it. So this is a triathlon kit, okay? This one's made by Zoop. And this was a custom design. I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing. It's the most important thing that I own. Okay. This is a one piece triathlon kit with sleeves. This is what it, I have another one. I have a backup. So this is my example here. So they make these in all sorts of, sh sorts of sizes. So there's this kind, you could also do a one piece sleeveless. You could do a two piece sleeveless, two piece with sleeves. I used to wear a two piece kit. I am very tall and so I felt like the top was always too short and so when I'd run it would ride up and then my stomach would come out and I don't like that. Not not for me, okay? And then also the sleeves, like I know that it gives you a tan line, like I could get that, but I already have a tan line from my cycling kits and I just think that the sleeves look more like pro, more badass. That's just my opinion, okay? You can do whatever you want. Um, so you're going to wear this for all three sports. Um, Iron Man is different and I'll talk about that next, but for anything shorter than a full distance, distance Iron Man, you're typically just going to wear this the whole race. So in the swim, you're going to wear this under your wetsuit. And a question I've gotten asked too is about sports bras. Um, Zoot makes triathlon specific sports bras. So you will wear that under, underneath, but some triathlon kits do have a built-in sports bra. I also have worn kits with the built-in sports bra and I don't find them very comfortable or supportive. And I have like little, you know, so I just, I would just go with the not built-in sports bra, get, get a separate sports bra. Again, Zoot, great option. So you're gonna wear <laughs> sports bra, kit, under your wetsuit. Then you're gonna get out of the swim, take your wetsuit off, leave the kit on, throw on your bike stuff, get on the bike, and yes, you are gonna be wet. That is a question I get too, like, oh, aren't you wet when you get on the bike? Yes, you are, because you just swam. But I have literally done, I've done so many triathlons and I've never even thought about how like moist I am. You dry pretty fast, because this is like pretty moisture wicking, like thin material. 
The only time I've really thought about it, if it was like colder outside and I was like still a little bit wet. Um, but again, you usually dry within like 10 minutes. Okay, so the other thing I need to mention about a triathlon kit is that it has a chamois in it, like so. So it's like a cycling chamois. However, it is much thinner. It's still like comfortable, but it's thinner and it's more narrow. So it doesn't absorb water like a cycling chamois would. And also it's so comfortable when you're running, you don't even notice it. So, you know, that's like one thing that sets the triathlon kit apart from just like regular shorts or cycling shorts. So then, you know, you'll finish the bike, take off your cycling shoes, put on your running gear. You're running in this too. I absolutely love running in this thing. It's so comfortable. The, I don't know if they all have this in the zoo ones. There's these like little in the legs, there's these just like little sticky little stickers so that it like, it sticks to those legs. Like it does not ride up at all. It's amazing. And then this one also has this pocket behind your like neck that you can put ice in to stay cool. Another option is just shoving ice down your sports bra. And I, I do that too. So one other feature of the triathlon kit I want to mention is that it does, at least for Zoot, again, I don't know, I only wear Zoot, but I'm assuming most brands probably have this, but there's a pocket in the back here. And it's like not as big as a cycling jersey pocket would be, but it's close. And so you can still store gels uh, and like bars and stuff in there. So that is a great option uh, if you don't have enough room on your bike to store your nutrition and on the run. Um, so you still have a place to put your fuel. Other honorable mentions of what to wear during a triathlon. You're not gonna wear underwear. Don't wear underwear. People ask me this too, don't wear underwear in your cycling kit either. Just wear, wash it every time you wear it. That's probably not very comfortable. Um, but uh, socks. So this is a very, I think, argued topic in the triathlon world. So a lot of triathletes don't wear socks to make their transition from swim to bike faster because you don't spend like a minute putting on a sock. You just slide your bare foot right into your shoes and then you don't wear socks on the run either. That is not my, my style. I'm a sock gal. I, I feel like I get blisters even when I'm wearing socks sometimes. So I feel as like if I didn't wear socks, like that would just be really bad. And then also I feel like my shoes would get really stinky. And also I have some really fun socks that match like all my kits. So I'm like, it's just, for me, it's like, it's fashion, you know? Um, and then other things, you know, like bike, you're gonna wear your cycling shoes and your helmet and glasses. Um, but then on the run, obviously running shoes, I do like a, like a nice thin running hat. I see a lot of people doing visors. You don't even need a hat if you don't want one. I just don't like the sun in my face. And then I also wear my gooder sunglasses on the run too. Okay, so that is what I would wear for a distance shorter than an Ironman. For a full Ironman, you could wear that. You can wear a tri-kit the whole time. But the difference in a full Ironman is that there are changing tents. So you can fully change between each sport, which is very nice. Um, so the way it's set up, and I've only done two Ironmans, so I don't know if it's the same at every race, but basically they have transit, instead of all your stuff being in transition, like with your bike, um, your bike is in transition, but you actually put your all your gear and a transition one and a transition two bag. And these bags are all lined up. And when you come out of the swim, you call, they call out your number. Someone grabs your bag and runs it over to you. And then I think at the ones I did, you actually had to run through a changing tent before you could even go to your bike. And so there's a men's and a women's changing tent. So you run to whichever one. And while you're in there, you can just like put on your helmet and go, you don't have to change. But um, you can fully change your clothes and there are volunteers in there who will help you change. Um, when I did Louisville in 2018, it was freezing. It was like 40 degrees. I couldn't even move my hands. So a woman literally changed me like a baby. I like, couldn't do anything. So anyway, that's a nice option, <laughs> but yeah. So I, for both the Ironmans that I've done, I will do, um, a swimsuit, just like a one piece swimsuit under my wetsuit and then I change into a regular cycling kit and then change into the tri kit because in the pictures, okay, I'm gonna look like a, tri like a triathlete. I don't wanna look like a runner. And also this thing is so comfortable to run in, I love it. 
So anyway, I will change into this. Um, but again, this is a personal choice. Obviously changing fully is going to add time onto your transition. But for me in a full Ironman, it's more about finishing. <laughs> Um, of course I want to do well, but like an extra two minutes in transition really isn't going to kill me. And for me, the reason I change is because I have a few reasons. I, and maybe this is too much information, but my crotch, she cannot handle 112 miles on a bike with just like this little, the little chamois that's in here. I need like a full chamois to be comfortable for 112 miles. That's how long, like we're talking five plus hours on the saddle. Like I just... Like if I'm not comfortable, like I'm not gonna have a good time. Um, also, generally speaking, cycling jerseys do have more pocket space and the bike is longer, so you're probably gonna have more fuel. Um, so just more room for snacks, um, which is good all around. Uh, so yeah, that's why I choose to do it. I don't know, maybe in the future, if I am trying to go for like a really like fast time, then I will just wear this the whole time and just my crotch can suck it up. I don't know, we'll see, but that's just, Something to keep in mind if you're if you're looking into a full Ironman that you that you can change in between disciplines. It's a very nice feature. Another honorable mention I'd like to talk about real quick is layers. So there's a chance if you're doing a lot of triathlons that you're gonna have a day where it's cold. Um, and I've heard so you could just wear like bike arm warmers, but the problem is is if you take them off and you don't have anywhere on your triathlon kit to put them, you might have to like throw them out, which I don't wanna throw away perfectly good gear. But a trick that I learned during Oceanside is that you can use old tube socks, cut the toe part open, and then use those as arm warmers. Uh, another thing I've heard is putting in one of those nylar, whatever they're called, like space blankets you get after the race, cutting one of those up and putting them in your kit to keep you like insulated and warm. Um, like you could totally swim with that in there and then also bike with it in there. And then once you get warm, just pull out and then throw it once you, you know, throw it away once you reach an aid station. So um, another option is just getting some like cheap gloves from Walmart. I did that during Oceanside um, and then just threw them away at an aid station too because my hands do get cold. It's hard to shift when your hands are cold. So um, those are some options too. But anyway, I just, I hope this video helps you, help somebody, I don't know. Um, and if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments. Um, or of course, DM me on Instagram at LA underscore triathlete. Um, and thank you for watching. I love you. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Okay. Bye.